Hello and welcome to Motion Time. Today is Behavior Wednesday, where I will teach you behaviors or the behaviors in Apple Motion. For today's topic, we're gonna talk about the basic fade in, fade out behavior in motion. So let's go. I have my motion project here. Let's make a shape. Of course, I like shape. Very easy to use and very easy to do. Okay, shape. So let's do a circle. Center it up using reset parameter. Okay, where can we find the fade in, fade out behavior? It can be found here on the behaviors, basic motion, and fade in, fade out. Alternately, you can go to the library, behaviors, basic motion, and fade in, fade out. So let's go to the inspector tab. The behavior, fade in, fade out, have these properties. Fade in time, fade out time, start offset, and end offset. So fade in time, this is how many frames it will fade in and also fade out time similar to the fade in time okay so start offset this one delays the number of frames the fade in time will start similarly also the end offset so currently our circle shape will fade in after 20 frames similarly the fade out time also 20 frames let's see on our timeline so here it is 20 frames our circle shape has its opacity back to 100 percent if we go back to the C first frame you can see that our opacity is back to zero percent so the fade in fade out behavior only affects of course the opacity of that shape or a layer in your canvas now let's go to the end of our shape so as you can see currently our opacity is back to zero from what i said earlier the fade out time is 20 frames so let's do let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There are 20 frames before our shape or layer fades out. You can adjust the fade in time in how many frames you want. Fade in time and fade out time. So if you want only if you want your shape to appear much earlier, then you can adjust to 10 frames. Also, if you want your shape to fade out much earlier, increase it to any number you want. Say 50 frames for me. So currently, fade in time is 10. So 10 frames like this. Then fade out time 50 frames 50 frames so it will start from 309 then fade out at 429 start offset so what I mentioned earlier it, this will delay right delay the fade in time so let's go to the keyframe editor to see what's happening in the fade in fade out start offset so currently it's at zero so if we adjust this start offset to at least let's say 10 our fade in fade out behavior will start at the 10th frame so you can see in here so we are now in our on the 10th frame 
then the fading time will start. Okay, just like that. If you want to adjust the start offset, it depends on you where you want your layer to start. So currently it's on the 35th frame. So in here, you can see it will adjust similarly to the end offset. If you want your end offset to adjust, you can increase the slider. So 13 frames. 13 frames from the end so it will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so your shape will fade out on the 4 second and 16th frame or oh, time so that's very easy right the fade in fade out i hope that you enjoy that one and you can use it on your motion projects. Thank you and see you again next time. Peace.